If you want to support the platform, just in case anything like this happens again, you can do it by way of PayPal, Patreon, uh, Cash App, and also by um, the Anchor. And you can also further support the platform by way of going to the uh, the Teespring store or um, the shoe store that is located in the comment section below. Oh yeah, oh yeah, we're here. We're we're. <laughs> oh boy, I can't wait to read through some of the thread that this person left directly on their Twitter page. Let's just get into it. She stated, I'm way too sexy, plus I got the bag. Diamond lips, photography. One thing I do well, I can send a man to jail real quick if his black self gets out of line and tries to leave me and it's not on my terms. Such and such, you're going to jail. Cobb County Police will get you good. What did he say? Just so y'all raggedy so-and-sos can shut up, black women don't cheat the same as men do. We expand out interest in a relationship to other men. We have a right to flirt, do drinks, and have a good time with other men while in a relationship. We are not property. I'm not even going to comment on the foolishness like that. I swear, these men really think we need to help them win. They're down and out. Please, I will leave you and have relations with your friend. Lord Jesus. When a man is tired of my VA, mind control, self, I just find ways to steal his money before the relationship ends or send him to jail. Set with y'all because I know you're mentally ill, which is why one day I'm going to open up a hospital for mentally ill Africans. I was on Section 8 paying $85 a month for rent for five years. I had my dude thinking the rent was $1,700 a month. I was taking 1000 from him every month plus getting my car note paid. His lawn care business started running dry, so I started an argument, called police, and kicked him out. I don't know what's so hilarious. Girls Night is our secret council for women over 40. We let each other know who we're cheating with over wine and wings. I sit in the driveway and talk to my side dude while I'm tipsy, then walk in the house and love on my faithful black king. You, you hear what you're saying out loud? You need something to hold over your man's head, some stuff he done or might have done so you can use that when you fall asleep over the other dude's house. You can bring that up if he gets suspicious. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Here comes a new challenger! She stated that her Italian men love backdoor treatment, and she loves them. It's just like, man, it's like, where is God in this conversation? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gay! So just for others that are going to inquire more than likely later on or somewhere maybe in the future, yes, this is the actual person. Uh, this is the image. Uh, what of it that you can potentially see? And no, I'm not going to link uh, their social media directly under here. I'm just not going to do it. Like I said, um, I ain't really trying to give them all that type of energy. Like I said, this is pretty much <laughs> enough. Um, but. As stated before, this is, you know, key point. A lot of the reasons that you have guys, you know, backing away, uh, you know, from dating and just in a sense, keeping to themselves, building themselves up and focusing on themselves uh, because you got women like this. That will be open and honest directly on social media because don't nobody know her, doesn't really have a lot of followers, and, you know, can just go out there and and put different things directly out there, right? Like I said, people will be the utmost truthful when they know that nobody is really watching and or paying attention. The moment in time that people start getting attention and then that attention leads to people that they actually know, 
finding out what it is that they're stating, that's when people start wanting to, you know, step back and ease up on the truth a bit. And they want to start categorizing everything as a prank, as a joke, you know, all of those types of things. But I'm just listing this as a case clear cut example of what it is that you have a lot of women out here doing. And um, if you're just one of those women that, you know, don't like me doing these videos or you don't like the generalization, well, that's a personal problem. You know, the the loudest ones talking are usually the ones doing the crimes. <laughs> uh, you know, like I said before, you know, a hit dog will holler. So I think somebody needs to get a break.